pointed circular shape I'm using the transform key the shortcut is T to move it to the center and individually selecting the points using the G key and the transform key to move the points together or separately to make that circular shape look close enough to a circle now uh, as if you want to make a circular by the default shape tool that is available in anime studio pro it will have four points to make a circle using four points is a bit of a challenge so I'm using five points you can scale your layer elements by the use of the scale tool shortcut is S key and rotate the same shape using the R key or the rotate tool now I'm trying to fix the circular shape so that it looks close enough to a circle and it will take some time and effort to make it look like a circle and I guess this looks close enough to a circle now so let's go forward and see what else we can do using the graphical interface of NMS Studio Pro now I'm going to move this to the side and create a freehand shape using the F key or the freehand tool it didn't close but as soon as I move the top points together uh, it will close up and have a fill by default I'm moving the points together sorry my throat's a bit off today moving the points together to see if it comes close to looking like a snow goggle or a visor and uh, I guess I got a little bit lucky there now I'm moving the points so that it looks close enough to a visor this looks like a visor in three-fourths perspective for all you uh, people with attention to detail now I'm going to select individual points and I'm using the backspace key to delete additional points so that the shape looks smoother and it has less points for me to worry about in animation clicking and backspacing clicking and backspacing and now it looks slightly cleaner than normal moving a few points ahead outwards you can also select group points and move them around as a group using the G key select a few bunch of points together and move them you can also go back and redo or undo your steps by control Z now instead of applying the paint bucket tool to color your shapes time and time again you can always select the shape using the select shape tool and change the color now I'm changing the curvature of the shape so curvature actually controls the uh, taperness or the edge uh, the amount of smoothness that a shape ha uh, shape point has <coughs> and I have now converted this shape into a polygon rotating it and seeing that if it looks like a perfect polygon and I might uh, make the uh, this shape uh, remain like a polygon just needing to see if it is looking close enough to a polygon or not it looks okay to me right now let's see if rotating it fixes the problem or rotating it does it look like a polygon from the other edges 
clicking the R key now. Rotating, it looks slightly off. Okay. Trying to fix it back to the original British position. And it looks slightly off still. Let's convert it back to a circular shape with the curvature tool C. And the top point is a bit uh, off. Bring it in. So this looks like a perfect circle now and then convert it back to a polygon. Okay, so this looks like a polygon. Almost perfect polygon. You can also use select shape tools to make perfect polygons. Select the shape by using the Q key now and see if it can be converted into a different color. Select the color from the color picker tool and turn it to red. And now I don't like the stroke thickness which is 4 right now. I'm going to change it to 8. So let's type in 8. And now it has more thickness. You can zoom in and out of your work area using the middle mouse wheel. And now you can choose the individual edges using the width tool. Shortcut is W and change the width thickness of the stroke on each individual point. This is very useful if you want to make different objects with different amount of stroke level or different thickness of, of the stroke. So I am leaving one point thin or very thin stroke while the other points are having some amount of stroke. I'm just going to change the stroke color now using the Q key. I've picked the color. I'm changing it to a dark blue and I'm not happy with this now. doesn't look nice. Let's change it again. Select the shape using Q and change the stroke color to green slightly green, dark green. Okay, so this looks okay. So, this is how you change width, color and different properties of a shape. Now, there are some navigations that you can do with the layer. Layer, you, want, you can scale the layer using the 2 key. You can rotate the layer using 3 key. You can use the fourth key. If you press the fourth key, it will come to camera options and you can move the layer out of frame or in frame using the fourth key. You can rotate the layer using the five key. And you can zoom in and out. Oh, sorry. You can zoom in and out using the five key and you can rotate using the six key. My bad. You can also change your viewer layer properties, viewing properties. You can use the face space bar to pan and you can use the middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out of your work area. If you want to change the properties of your output or if you want to export your uh, work area, the shortcut keys are first to change the property you can go ahead and reset all the settings first so that it looks exactly like it did before then you can go to file and in the file menu there are some project settings that you can check project settings shortcut is control shift P you can go there and check to see if it is HD TV 1080p and 24 frames so it's okay and you can also have control E shortcut for exporting your animation or you can have export animation or you can have control R which can view your animation now this is resolution is a bit higher so you cannot see it 
on my window screen but you can click and drag to see the entire area so that's it for the GUI thank you and good day